Hey everyone, welcome back. I got to interview a very special lady named Mrs. Bina Javad, who has accomplished incredible things along with her husband. I was in awe of her wisdom and open mindedness, and I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. About yourself, who are you? And what makes you sort of tick? I think that was uh, what pushed me towards uh, other dimensions of life because life here uh, you soon realize is a mirage, it is an illusion. And uh, we do get stuck up in certain illusions about others, about ourselves, about the society, about the world. And we forget that it is only temporary. It's like a bus stop. So you come here, the bus stops for about 10 minutes and then it goes on again, you see. So the 10 minutes we are here on earth, it is... <laughs> the bus will go forward, it will have to move, you know. And though it was a very difficult journey, but that journey again was very exciting, learning about yourself, learning about the reality, the truth, through experience who you are. And then finding relations which help you. You have helpers, you know, who are there to help you uh, move in your own path. But the movement you do is yourself. Nobody can take your hand and move you on, on your path. You have to do it yourself. And basically that is the path that I was lucky and I am lucky to have found in my own life. And like every person in this world, each have their unique paths according to their perception, according to their desires, according to their who they are, the path is unfolding for them. So there is no right and wrong. It's all individual. Some person might like a blue color and another one might like the red color. It doesn't mean the blue is better than the red or the red is better than the blue. So it is a place of total non-judgment. And that can only happen when you have seen yourself, gone through your own weaknesses and your own pettiness to understand that we are all full of uh, different insecurities, different whatever you can say. But uh, once you realize that everyone is like that, no one is special. No one has dropped down from heaven to be the perfect. There's no one perfect. But if you realize that there is perfection in this imperfection, that just the mere fact of acknowledging your own imperfections leads you to the greater perfection, and that is, uh, I feel, uh, is what as a humankind, as human beings on this planet Earth, that we are here to recognize and here to take the path. Now, in the world uh, is a huge place, but again, it is not a huge place because in the world, all human beings have the same emotions and the same mental bodies. They have the same desires, they have the same necessities. If we start realizing that we are not here to feel bad about ourselves, we need to feel that we are all right. We might be weak, the pot might be cracked, but it's all right. You know, there's nothing to feel bad about. That is the thing which is real education. Not learning this subject, that subject, that subject, doing that, but to learn about yourself, to find out who you are. That is the real education. That is what the world is missing out nowadays. Because everyone is running after some goal, some achievement. But they have missed out on the very, very important achievement, which is to realize yourself, self-realization. And uh, I think the world is waking up. It is moving in the right direction. Many, many European countries have brought education to such a place where they like the children being happy and learning through games. So uh, the child, the new soul which has come into this body, has to be given the opportunity to self-realize and to find out that they don't need to feel bad or guilty about what the society is saying about them. I think it's a lifelong journey. Education is not just going to a school. For me, it was not going to a school or a university. It was a whole life's journey, a whole long period of 45 or 50 years of aspiring for something. The vision was there, but you have to aspire to it. You have to be able to stick to it with sincerity and not get doubtful or, I mean, of course there will be doubts, 
the, the whole society is like a, a swamp, you know, and you can sink into it. But uh, if you realize that your inner heart is wanting something and you follow your heart, then you're going to get it. And that is what we are lacking. The world is lacking in heart, is lacking in love. It is so much uh, self-criticism. It is so intell ah, Yes, because the world is full of mind now. It is full of egos and minds. The ego does not even let you survive. My ego was so sharp, I tell you, it would be thinking, mm, I want to go on the stage, I want to become a famous dancer, and then it would not work, and I would a bit depressed, oh, you know, it was the ego wanting these things. Uh, but the heart would also be saying something. So it is now basically the, the fight between the ego and the heart. The heart has to win. The strongest power on earth is love. The most powerful energy in the whole of the universe is love. And if we realize this, this is the real education. To find out what that love is, how the ego is controlling you, to find out what the truth is, that is education. Not learning languages or learning dance or learning singing or learning, you know, mathematics. But what is behind the source?